When you think of a market, you usually picture a nice place where you can shop around for the day's food, grab some stuff like apples, carrots, and the like. But the black market in Last Down Earth is a good bit different. Here the items are more bent on surviving the zombie apocalypse. And in this video, we're going to be taking a comprehensive look at the black market's inventory and the basics behind it. I'm also going to be showing you some data I collected from over 10 black market inventory resets. But first, let's cover the basics here. The black market has some very rare materials in LDOE, including ATV transmissions every once in a while. But you are going to need to use those VIP tokens to get access to the items. Currently, the only way to get and build up VIP tokens is to spin the wheel inside of the VIP zone. Now, to get access to the VIP wheel, you are going to need to be at least VIP 1. VIP 1 is going to give you access to one wheel spin every day. To get access to VIP 1, you could just buy a $1 item in the shop, and that would equal 7 wheel spins over the course of a week. If this all sounds a bit confusing to you, I'd recommend checking out my original VIP zone video and the follow-up video on the prestige levels, as that goes over the VIP system and the differences in it overall. But let's get back into the black market here. So your VIP level also corresponds to the levels of inventory that you're going to have access to in the black market. As you can see, at level 1 we get that first one, level 3 we get the second one, and at level 7 we get access to the rarest line at the bottom there. And another equally as important factor that plays into the black market is your ability to earn those tokens. Your ability to earn more tokens increases at VIP level 4, 8, and 10 from the wheel. Now, before we get into taking a look at all of the inventory resets that I collected, I'd like you to take a look at this highlight and tell me what you can see as a difference between these two screenshots. If you didn't notice it, we can actually see that there was a big price fluctuation and a difference in the amount of ash planks that I was able to get with those VIP tokens. Another thing that I realized with the VIP black market is that, see, this flare gun was 200, but in the same roll, we could get an MGL for 200. So you need to use your head a little bit and don't just be buying everything because some things actually aren't worth the price that they're charged and also prices fluctuate over time and prices could be updated and we could also be getting new items added into the inventory going forward. So I'm going to leave off the video here with the scroll effect through over 10 resets of the VIP inventory. I'd love if you would let me know if you see anything interesting in the inventory rolls or anything else like I pointed out earlier and what items you would like to see added to the VIP inventory going forward. Thank you so much for watching this video and have yourself a great day. I'll see you guys in the next one.